Alright, so um, we're gonna pick one of these. Now, if I can remember, these things offer, the traits here offer, I guess, a good and a bad side. There's negatives and positives to each trait. Um, I don't know which ones I picked before. Let's go through them. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have a plus 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. Yeah, see, that's bad. You don't want your weapons to decay, especially 15% faster. That's really bad. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 30% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. That's the equivalent to rapid fire. That, that's kind of pointless. If I miss every shot, what's the point of me shooting quickly? Uh, while wearing any type of glasses, you have plus one perception. Without glasses, you have minus one perception. Yeah, uh, no, let's not do that. You're good natured at heart, more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. That's just wrong, period. Uh, your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage. What? Oh, I guess I don't get a critical with melee. I barely use melee, so this is going to be good. This one's fine. Um, let's see. There's really, there's barely any points in the game where you, melee is really necessary. Um, it's pretty much just for fun. I use guns most of the time, so. Kamikaze, you have plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have negative 2 damage threshold. See, that would be good, but I need the damage threshold for my armor and things like that. And um, I don't want to be caught with low armor in uh, sticky situations. Um, I don't use frag grenades or throwing spears, really. Um, due to your small size, you have plus one agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. Don't really care about agility. Not important. Uh, while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. That would be nice, but I don't want to fire slowly in this game. Um, the, the animals and the, the things in this game are really fast, so you're going to want to get your gun out and shoot as accurately and as quickly as possible. So... I would suggest not picking any of the gun things that uh, that take away from it. Wild Wasteland. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. I didn't pick this before, so I'm going to pick this now. I don't know what it does, but um, you're going to find out with me, I guess. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Uh, not yet you won't. Because I will be looting your house. Take that. Yeah, so he has a he has a good amount of stuff in here. So before you leave, make sure you uh you take things with you. Let's see, can I fix this now? Yes, there we go. Got the nine millimeter mach machine gun or submachine gun or whatever it's called. Nope, not yet. I'm not ready to leave yet. You can't make me. Bottle cap. See what I'm talking about? Money. Uh, what else? Ashtray. No thank you. Pre-war book. No thank you. Why is this place boarded up? Isn't this a door? Uh, whatever. Uh, I think I got everything beforehand, so uh, we can leave now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm good. Alright, let's go. Here. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Things taken from me have nothing to do with it. I was shot in the freaking head. It's crazy, crazy, Doc. Um, you shouldn't have gone through my stuff. What do I do now? Thanks for patching me up. Uh, let's be nice to him. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. 
I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. So this is the hardcore mode that I was talking about. Um, Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Radaway right removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on and off at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it to the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? So the special reward is just a trophy. Um, hardcore mode is barely worth it. Um, but if this is your first time playing the game, I would not recommend it. Like I said, this game is long enough already. With hardcore mode, it'll probably add an extra, what, 10 hours to the game? Because you have to constantly go back and feed yourself, constantly sleep, and constantly get some water. And um, you'll die a lot, uh, trust me. And I'm already playing this in hard mode, so adding hardcore mode to it will just, just mess everything up. But um, if you want to, be my guest. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not against it and I'm not for it. I did it the first time. Um, the game was a lot more difficult to play. It wasn't really difficult, but it was it was a lot more tedious, uh, to put it bluntly, uh, I guess. But um, if you want to do it, go ahead. But right now, I'm just going to play casually, just in hard mode. So people will be more difficult to kill, but I won't have to worry about all this crap on the screen. No. Okay, so um, that's the end of the quest. Well... I wouldn't really call that a quest. I got shot in the head and then brought to the doctor, but that's the end of whatever that is. And um, now we'll go outside. Cuidado, la fantoma. Milserp review. With the fortune finder perk, you'll find considerably more Nuka Cola caps and containers than you normally would. Awesome. Whoa, blinding light. Alright, so this is the wasteland if you've never seen it before. And uh, that's the metal fellow that uh, the doc was talking about. And I never really paid much attention to that before. The first time I played this, he said metal fellow, and I was, I, I kind of like blurred over it. I'm not going to talk to him yet. But uh, right now, it just struck me as weird that uh, there's a metal guy walking around. And this is like an old western. It's funny. I think the thing about this game is that... It's supposed to be based in a futuristic era, but because of the nuclear war, everything's pretty much reverted to... I mean, there's little bits and pieces of technology here and there, like the Pip-Boy, but um, for the most part, we've reverted back to basically 60s and 70s because uh, there's not enough material to make new stuff because everything's been blown to hell. But um, yeah, we're going to try and take some of this stuff whoa 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 loud sunset sarsaparilla take that take all that take that when you're looting things make sure you're hidden because if you're not people can turn on you because they don't want you stealing their stuff which is uh understandable i guess but sunset sarsaparilla uh what's that? reloading bench and workbench and unnecessary stuff what's in here oh i can open these ones the only time you're not allowed to take something is when the um the little open sign is red but right now i can just loot all this hey give me back my pistol i can just loot all this stuff without worrying about it um all right so i'm supposed to go talk to victor and sunny smiles i guess i'll start off with smiles she should be inside the saloon somewhere uh, who's this guy? Oh, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? You could change your name. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. The magic one? Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. 
If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Hmm. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. I hope I'm not as boring as this guy when I'm old. You were a prospector like digging for gold and silver. Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Yeah, so the world got really, really, I guess, um, technologically advanced. Um, which I think technology, technology is a good thing, but it's also a really, really bad thing. I read a lot of newspapers, and um, I'm on Yahoo a lot, and I read all the articles, and just some of the things I hear pertaining to technology is just ridiculous. And I guess technology just went too far for them, and they just blew everything the hell up. But uh, did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out interesting what's wrong with the NCR don't get me wrong the NCR has got a lot of decent folk in it it's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long not if you've got something the NCR wants still the NCR keeps the Legion away hmm tell me about the Legion they're slavers led by a guy named Caesar or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Trust me, I always have a gun handy. What's so important about Hoover Dam? So this is what I'm talking about, the dialogue thing. It, it kind of goes on forever, but um, I know all this stuff. It's not really necessary to ask him any more questions, especially what do you use the big horners for? See, things like that. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse critters move in there sometimes yeah I'm not worried but um yeah things like that I'm not gonna waste your time uh, doing because some of the dialogue is very tedious and unnecessary like that lock picking um, when torque is applied the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot uh, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open you can also try to open a lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will permanently broken will be perma oh, will be permanently broken and can only be opened with a key. And uh, since a lot of these places don't have keys, I would suggest you not force any locks open. Just just redo it if you can't get it open the first time. So first time I play, there's a lot of broken locks that I wish I could get into now. Maybe I can get into them this time. Alright, so... This is the winery stash, I guess. And I'll take all of this stuff. Take all that stuff. And don't need any of that stuff. Oh, I'm detected. By who? Come on. There we go. Get in. Take all that stuff. So if you're detected, you, you definitely want to get into a place where you can be hidden and just take everything. Hey, don't bark at me, dog. Take that purified water. Thank you. Take that beer. Thank you. And I'll take this. Why would you bottle dirty water? <laughs> Honestly, that it just doesn't make any sense. 
if they want dirty water, all they have to go do is just walk outside and find a, the nearest, I guess, pond or the nearest puddle or something if they want dirty water. Purified water, okay to bottle. Dirty water, not okay. So this is a hard floor safe. Uh, there's different ways to open safes around, uh, around the Mojave Desert. One way is lock picking, which I can't do now because I need a lock pick of 75, it says. And the other way is hacking these terminals, which is easy, so it's better for me. Some terminals are protected and can be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force its security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking. So just like um, lockpicking, I would suggest that you don't fail all of these tries. If you get to your last attempt and you're still not sure, back out and do it again because a lot of the, the, the glitches in this game is a lot of these um, locks don't have keys and a lot of these terminals don't have passwords so once they're locked they're locked for good um, so the way I do this um, and I learned this from somebody else is I kinda go for the ING words because they're usually ING words um, when it's the easy ones so like that it says three out of three out of seven so Basically, I think it's ing. I'm not sure. It's an ing word, but I have to find words that don't match the other four letters. Let's go beeping. So there's four. All right. So there's an e in there, maybe. Um, wearing? Nope. Still four. All right. Let's try that again. So yeah, this becomes a little tedious over time. Um. If I get to one that's really, really difficult and takes too long, I'll just cut that out because I know it's not interesting and uh, I don't want to waste my breath talking over it, so, yeah. Uh, okay, let's try rating. Three out of seven again. <sighs> okay, um... Driving, maybe? No, there's an I there. Um, there's an I here. Cutting, maybe. Nope, two out of seven. Definitely not cutting. Uh, waiting? No, that can't be it. Let's try waiting. Nope, still not it. Damn it. And every time I do this, I lose karma. Sometimes when you leave and you come back, it becomes easier. But it's definitely an ING word. I just can't find the right one. Okay, five out of seven. That's better. Uh, so let's see. There's... So it's n there's no M or E, most likely. So, one, two, three, four, five. Can't be hearing. Can't be fearing, because they're pretty much the same. Um, sending, maybe? Could be sending. Because I'm missing two. Let's try sending. Nope, that's four. <sighs> Meaning... Dealing. Let's see. There's um, there's A N I N G. So the two letters in the front have to be different. A N I N G. Oh boy. See, this is a pain in the ass. They could have done a little better with this, um, but it's all part of the game, I guess. But it's kind of tedious to keep doing this. Um, let's go with hearing. Oh, lucky me. Cool. That was lucky. I thought actually I was going to fail that one. have to do it over again, but I didn't. Um, okay, so the floor safe is open now. Let's see what's in here. Pistol, we got that, we got some of that, we got some case, 9mm, dirty water, fixer, cycle, rebound, take that, and take that. Alright. So, yeah, that was interesting for the most part, but kinda, it kinda takes too long to do that. 
and there's a lot of those so if you don't like games that immerse you into the game itself you might not want to play this game but it's a really good game I want to steal all this stuff but this guy's like eyeing me all right let's let's save that's another thing you're gonna be doing a lot going to be saving this game quite a bit. Um, let's save here. Okay, so um, I'm going to go use the bathroom and then I'll come back and steal all this stuff.